quick note before this video starts that these are advanced Sova arrows, and if you want basic arrows, you can find tons of vids on YouTube. Now onto the video. So this arrow is for defender side on split. So you're going to want to go to Beehaven as a defender, and you're going to want to look up at the skylight. So you see where this arrow just where this not the arrow where the rope disappears or strength whatever it is. You're going to want to line your horizontal crosshair up with that. And you see this vertical nail, or I don't know, I think it's a nail. You're going to want to line your vertical part up with the end of that nail, I'm going to call it. And then full power it and line it up after you full power because it will move your crosshair up. You're just going to want to full power change it. Revealing area. Like readjust after you go full power so it lines up with that rope still. And it will land right here. Now, I've, I think this arrow is better than right here, because while you could put it here, it's very, it's much harder. It, let me show you. So basically you think that if you want to maybe, maybe move it to the left a little bit, you can just move your arrow. So it's just, you can say, okay, well I can just keep the same height and move it over on the left of the nail a little bit. And well, you could, but you really can't because it changes the changes the everything and it, it'll still land in the same spot like so the last one went here this one went here and you can't go f further left than that because then you'll just hit the rope right here let's just go more left okay so we're basically touching the rope now revealing area it'll land in basically the same spot like it doesn't change it at all because one went here, revealing area. one went here, revealing area. and one went here. Revealing area. And while these are basically the same arrow, um, and you think, oh, well, this one's the best because it'll be able to see more of this. And well, it will be able to see more. Revealing but this area. is a little better because it will be able to see back here if they're going to rotate. You'll be able to see these two corners, which is very important. And it's harder to shoot. Like this one, you're like, what the heck? And then you have to, you have to see that little part. This one, because I'm not gonna expect this. You're like, oh, what? And then they have to, they can, they have an easier shot at this one than they do at this one because it's covered by stairs. Because they'll be in this corner most likely. Just trying to get a pick right here. All right, so this is not a recon arrow because if you want a recon arrow, you can just stand here and full power at that thing. It'll scan it easily, or. You can, you know, full power at this beam. We all know those, okay? Those are boring arrows. We don't like them. So, but those are the most effective ones. But let's say you don't have your drone, cause, or you don't have your arrow, because you just you just used it in a cooldown, and they delayed their attack so they wouldn't get caught by it because you've been doing it every round. Basically, this is going to be a drone, in case you don't have your recon arrow. So, we all know that the drone, it'll go on whatever surface it has. So, if it's over here... It'll go, it won't go as far than if it's on top of like this box, it'll go higher, right? Okay. You can see all of ramps and you can see right in their spawn. You can see right there. And if you jam yourself into this gray thing, you can see right there, everything. So it's a little overpowered, but you don't have much time to do it. You need to stay above the rafters and then you need to go over here and then you need to check this really quick and be on the right of this beam. And then you need to check over here and like, you need to check everywhere, basically. Take so, rafters, and then go over, right side of this, check real quick, and then go over here, check real quick, and then drone over here so you can maybe see a corner, and then that's it. That's that's the drone. But it's really hard to get consistent. So I'd, I'd advise just going to a custom game and doing this a couple times. Just, you know, just flying your drone. See, that's probably the most effective way to do it. You can see everything. Because I've been, I've been doing this drone for a while. I'm just trying to show you. Like, if you do it effectively, you can go bam, check, bam, and then check. And then you can fly over here directly, check the corners, go over here, check that corner. And you can see, you can literally see everything. And this is a good for... Let's say your team's dead, and you want to know where the enemy is, and you don't want to peek it. But you could just drone over here. And then check this. And then go over here and check this. This one is a lot more effective because you can see a lot more 
lot quicker. Yeah, I just saw, I saw all of this. I just saw all of this. So basically the arrow sees it, or the drone, not the arrow. The drone sees all of this up to here. And then it saw this, this, and then I went over here. I scanned this, even though I know there's many people can be there. I scanned all of this and that, and I can see all the way back here. It's a really strong drone. All right, so this is a this is an arrow. Um, bind. This is gonna be a shock arrow, and it's basically going to land right here, and it will kill anyone peeking here, like just peeking this, because it will come from over this, and it will come, like, basically over them, and they, they won't be looking up for a shock arrow. They, they just won't. So they're gonna die from it, probably. Or they'll, at least they'll take a lot of damage. Take flight. Same looking good for you, Chief. There's someone there! I got this. Shock duck. Shock duck. Let's go! I got him! Uh, actually, I got him with the shock dart! <laughs> Last player. What you're going to want to do is go into this corner. You're going to want to line your horizontal cross here with this middle of the post right here. And then line your um, quadrant two of your cross here. So like, you know, quadrants for math. Your quadrant two should be like right next to that little air pocket of sky. I know that doesn't make sense, but I'll probably make sure it makes sense in post. And then shocker there. And then right here, kind of next to this, just double tap or two bars, not double tap. Now right here. And they will both hit right here. Now the, the timing will be different than what I just showed you. I'm just trying to show you how to do them so but if you can get this consistently it's a it's a very good shock dart trick that will do a lot of damage to them really quickly unbind you're going to line yourself up so get into this you're going to want to end up in this one so basically i like to just go up here and then hold a and s or just S and then A at the end until you're locked into this corner. Okay, I'm locked. You're gonna want to line your horizontal part of the crosshair up with this beam right here. So this beam will be where your crosshair is. And then you're just gonna want to full full power it Reveal right at the, the beam. And this will land right there. And this will scan Revealing area. All of this, it will scan all of this, and it will scan all of showers. This is very useful to see if they're going showers or not. It's a very nice trick to get them, well, to find them without actually having to peek at all, because they will not expect this until you do it a couple of rounds. If you want more videos like this, like maybe a cypher cam video, just let me know in the comments, and make sure to subscribe for that, because I will definitely make one if y'all want. But for the meantime, I'll see you.